What will happen during the lunch with Jake and Beverly? Will you be able to keep your friends and their secrets safe? And will your love interests fight for you again? This festival will be full of drama. Yes, today we are back with the next part of Epilove on the episode Choose Your Story app. If you have not seen the other ones, you can find a little playlist to them here. But it ended with Beverly, the queen bee of the school, the mean girl. She's mean. She is mean. Invited us to lunch and our friends who are not, well, they're real humans now and they're learning to become even more real. But before that, they were essentially video game characters and they came to the real world. So they're on to us, it seems. And I know Beverly's trying to sniff around to find something wrong with this and expose our poor friends. So we're going to see how this goes, but I hope you guys are excited. Please go follow the amazing author Lucas. You can find his Instagram handle in my description box down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like as it helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, let's start the drama. Why do you look so nervous? Is she that intimidating to you? Okay, so this is the beginning. It's not about that. We spoke at the party the other day and she sounded like she was on to you guys. Your new friend seems very out of this world. Lynn is right. We couldn't even find them on social media. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being delusional. No, you're not, idiot. She's probably going after me because I'm clearly a threat to her queen bee status. Bella thinks Beverly is scared of her. I mean, maybe. Sure, I'm not trying to cause trouble with Bella again right now. I guess that would make sense. Of course, she's a fake queen bee and she feels threatened by me. And now that she sees I'm the real deal, she's out to get me. Well, we're going to get her first. What does that mean? It means that we need to get her out of the picture. Bad girl style, like what I did to you and Epi Love. You will never be the Queen Bee, Autumn. Never. What are you going to do? Hit me. You don't have it in you. You mean Queen Bee reign is over. You are alone. And you're just going to have to deal with it. No, I will never let you win. Oh, the gold old days am I right? No, 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 Bella. We can't be doing that in real life. No, 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 no. My character spent a whole chapter in a coma after you did that and then got amnesia. Well, that's the whole point, getting rid of her. Oh, gosh. Oh, my gosh. Isn't that what you want? But it doesn't, yes, but it doesn't, well, we don't want to, do we want to get rid of Beverly? <laughs> yes, we do, but not in that way. But it doesn't work that way. You can't just kill someone in real life. That's insane. We don't necessarily have to kill her. We could simply hit her really hard with, no, Bella, we don't hurt anyone, Okay. All right, all right. But if she tries anything against me, I will destroy her. I mean, you do you, girl. I'm going to have to watch Bella in case she does something crazy. So what's... Mm, so this is a burger, huh? It's super good. So much better than blood. What? He said it's better than blood. He said cod. Cod, he said it's better than codfish. Oh, right. Yeah, it's definitely better. Yeah, I said that. Your canines are so long and sharp, it's so funny. Yeah, kind of like a vampire. A vampire, right? Yeah, it's funny, right? Liam, can I try your french fries, please? We can share the sauce if you want. Oh, girl, she wants the sauce, all right. She wants his personally created sauce. Is she flirting with him? Still don't want to hurt her now? I spotted a base up at the booth earlier, you know. We can go take care of business. We ain't gonna do like that only in our dreams. What are you two whispering about over there? Why, why don't you mind your own business, Lynn? Why don't you sit over there with your little friend eating his burger? Mind your business. No one talked to you, Kathleen. Thank you, Bella. Finally, we're on the same wavelength. My name is Lynn, just Lynn. That's even worse. Bella, what? She's already getting into trouble. To so be fair, I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I'm not saying anything. Your friend is really rude, Autumn. And the fact that you let that pass says a lot about you. Well, maybe you should mind your business then, Lynn. What does that mean? It means what it means. No one knew who you were at school before your friends came. And now you're trying to be a popular girl like Beverly. Be a popular girl like Beverly? I don't want to be... A popular girl? What is this middle school? You think I want to be popular? Why are you even suggesting it? What is this middle school, Miss Kathleen? Girls, can we talk about something else? Like Piper, for example. Why do you always wear oversized clothes? You should stop hiding your body and let the men see it, girl. I almost threw up. He is disgusting. You want to see my body? How about we start with my fist in your face, boy? Tell him, Piper. That's right. 
oh, Liam, your friends are so funny. I understand why you hang out with them, but you can hang out with us too. She's doing it again. Beverly's flirting with my bad boy. Eye contact, look at his eyes crying for help. Beverly's making both you and Liam uncomfortable. So once again, I say we kill her and Liam helps us carry the body. Enough, Bella, we're not killing anyone. Well, this was a nice lunch, but I want to check out the amusement rides before the concert. Yeah, Liam, you should come with us. Uh, actually, I was planning to go with Autumn. I was thinking we could try the rides together. Liam wants to go with me. Come on, man, come with us. I don't mind if you leave her alone. Right, Autumn? Jake and Beverly want to steal Liam. I want to try you not guilting me. You going, he... Yeah, like, can't he think for himself, Liam? You could say no. We, why do we have to say no for you? Oh, okay, I'll go with them then. That's my dude. Come on, let's go, Autumn. Can you clean the table for us? How about I clean your face up with our fists, too? We can all just be, take turns beating your ass. Don't be sad, Autumn. At least you have us. I know. I'm just upset for giving in to Jake and Beverly. And have you seen the way she was all over Liam? That was gross, sorry, but remember, girl. And this is for everybody. It takes two to tango. Liam could have said something and stood up for himself and be like, oh, Beverly, I'm going to go with Autumn. It's fine. But he didn't. So that's on him. Someone's jealous. Jealous. I mean, we like Liam, but it was, I mean, I can't really say it was gross because he didn't do anything about it. So whatever. Well, yeah, maybe I am. I like Liam after all. And she seems to like him too, but you don't even want to kill her. <laughs> Bella, I told you you can't kill people because of that. Why not? That's the first time for everything. Oh, Bella. Hey there, friends. What's with the long faces? Nothing. How was your sound check? It was nice, but also a little nerve-wracking. Daph, you have no reason to be nervous. You are an incredible singer. That's what we keep telling her, and she won't listen. I do, but we're going to perform in front of hundreds of people in 30 minutes. I can't just erase my nerves. In 30 minutes? Then I guess I have time to grab something to eat. I'm starving. Didn't you? J okay, was that your stomach? Yeah. I didn't really eat during lunch. Jake and Beverly ruined my appetite. You had lunch with Jake and Beverly? Long story. You should join me then. I don't like to eat alone. I don't know. I don't want to leave my friends on their own. Don't worry, I'll watch over them. We're going to be okay, really. All right, sounds good. I'll be back in a bit. I really need to eat something. I'm actually kind of shook. I thought I totally would have been a gym option to like hang out with Charlie. I am starving. Same, I hope they'll prepare our food quickly. Same, what did you order? I ordered a sandwich, a hot dog, or a donut. A donut sounds good, but I feel like we're hungry, so we should go for a sandwich. I ordered a yummy sandwich, and you, a burger, got a few with the machine before the show. I'm really glad you came. I didn't know if you would. I promised I'd be here, remember? Yeah, I know, but a lot of people don't take promises seriously. I'm just glad you're not one of them. Yup, now you can get that out of your mind. Yeah, but I don't know if I can get you out of my mind. I think about you a lot lately. He thinks about me, really. Well, should I just say me too? I mean, we have been thinking about you. Because we don't know what you're going to do. You do. I most think about how I really wanted to dance with you at the party the other day. He wanted to dance with me. Okay, well, I, I'm sorry, but yeah. I'm not going to feel bad for picking Liam. That's who wanted to dance with the heart once what it wants. I guess I just, I don't really know how to say this. Just say it then. Well, I already told you that I liked you. And to see what that new guy Liam is, I don't know. I think I'm getting a little jealous. Oh, we've known. We've known for chapters now. Wait, so Liam is already jealous of Charlie. And now Charlie is also jealous of Liam. I don't even know why I'm telling you this. I guess I just want to know how you feel about me or him. Y'all need to stop playing with us because I don't know. Oh, wait, not enough Charlie points. Say that I share the same, but oh, it says unlocked, but it's not. So I appreciate what you said. Thanks. But I think I need some more time to tell you how I really feel. Um, yeah, no problem. I get it. Yeah, my bad. Thank you for understanding. Your food is ready. Thank you. There you go. Bon appetit. Thanks. All right, let's sit and eat. Why is she here again? Beverly's watching us. What is she looking at? Why are you here? Why are you 
what was that? Why did she stop to observe us? Everything okay? You look like you saw a ghost. Oh. No, it was not a ghost, unfortunately. Don't worry about it. Take a deep breath, Duff. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, we're in this together. You're not alone. I know that. We're back, ready to hit the stage. No, I'm not. I didn't expect to be so nervous. My legs are shaking. We have to cancel. I can't do it. Give her the confidence she needs. Look, Duff, I don't know any better singer than you. And your bandmates are amazing. You won't find anyone better on the market. I obviously have to agree with that. We have your back, Daff. See, and you know, not all stress is necessarily bad. It just shows that you're passionate about singing because you're good at it. Yeah, I know I'm good at it. Then you know that you can do it even if you're feeling stressed. You're right, I guess. I can't let the stress paralyze me from doing what I really want. Exactly. Do you want to be a singer or not? Of course I want to be a singer. I am one. That's the spirit, Daff. Let's go out there and crush it. Okay, they've got this. This is their big performance. It's nothing. It's not nothing. You gave me the motivation I needed. Everybody give it up for the future of rock music. Rock and troll. Let's kill it, boys. Okay, so our bestie's gonna go up there and do this. Really? Do you also want a pep talk? No, I don't need a pep talk, even though you're great at those. But you know, I have a tradition before I go on stage. I'm listening. I usually need a kiss from the girl I like. Really? When you just told me that you liked me? What a coincidence. Can't break a tradition, right? And when exactly did you come up with this tradition? About 10 seconds ago. That's cute. Uh, I just feel like that was like a bit like, nah, you know. I'm sorry. Charlie, stop flirting with Autumn. Come up here. I'm coming. Enjoy the show. Good luck. I didn't know about that. First show, good job. Where were you? I thought you stayed with the others. I was getting food with Charlie. Oh, how was the food? Did you have fun with that guy? The food was great and that guy's name is Charlie. Are you still jealous of him? What? No way, I'm not jealous of him. I just don't like seeing you with other guys, babe. Well, that sounds like jealousy to me, Liam. Mmm. For once, I agree with Bella. Look, this guy clearly likes you and I like you too. So I don't like he spends time with you, that's all. Ooh, calculating Liam points. Uh, okay. He has nothing to be jealous of. I get it. I think I would feel the same way if it was you. And I think, pretty sure if I remember Liam won the poll, so. And it's true. I like spending time with Charlie. He's a nice guy. But you have nothing to worry about. Really, I like you too. What are you guys talking about? Beverly, nothing really. Okay. Why does she care? Oh my gosh, look. They're on stage. Rock and troll. Hello, everyone. We are rock and troll. Are you ready to rock with us? Let's go. Okay, so they're going at it. Hey, my best friends at the first row. What do you say we bring her up here with us? Come up here, Autumn. Show us your moves. Yeah, come up, Autumn. They want me to go up on stage. If I go up on stage, I will win extra points. What kind of thing is this? Like, you don't have to tell me twice or let Beverly go instead. Why can't you just not go up there? I don't know. Okay. Nah, like, you ain't doing that to me, episode. Mm. Oh, for all those dancing, I need to go to the bathroom. It's okay, I'll go with you. What's... Why is she here? Is something wrong? I think I just saw Eliza right there. I don't see Eliza anywhere, Evangeline. You know Autumn glitched her. She can't be here. She's at home locked in a closet, remember? Yeah, you're right. It must have been someone else. Let's go. No, she probably had a fail safe. Hello, characters. Oh, no. This human social gathering is fun, isn't it? An individual pain in my face and taught me to dance look. Uh-oh. Autumn locked you up. Oh, that was just a physical material body, not me. My mind is virtual. I only had to transfer it to a new materialized body. But really look at my moves. I dance like humans. So you're not here to collect us. Oh, she is. Don't be silly. Of course I'm here to collect you. Run, y'all! How can we get rid of her for good? Can we save Evangeline a Piper in time? Oh, no. Will there be more drama at school after this weekend? Stick around to find out in the next chapter. 